Hey everybody, welcome back to the Best Investment News Channel on YouTube. I'm Son of a Silver Stacker. Today's date is August 7, 2024. And in this video, we're going to be talking about today's U.S. Mint releases. That's right, there's the American Silver Eagle. It's that proof out of San Francisco, California, as well as... That's right, it's time for the Celia Cruz Quarters. And those are already out in circulation already, if you can find them. So that might be one of the lowest minted... America Women Quarters going forward. We'll see what the future brings. But as we're looking back, it, le it looks like it could be some of the lightest one out there. Now, with that said, if you're new here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to get to a bazillion subs. It's a huge number. Not sure exactly what that number is, but it's got to be ginormous. Also, this Friday on Whatnot, and you can find me here if you follow this link, at 7.30 on Friday, and I will leave a link in the description below and i'm also put a pinned comment there uh now if you already haven't um downloaded that well you get 15 dollars to spend anywhere on whatnot so that's pretty fantastic and i will be having a giveaway for that auction as well um we're going to be giving away some american innovation dollars uh the 2018 the very first one with george washington signature on it then the um gerber variable scale and then the video game coin as well so that's going to be pretty awesome hope to see you there on friday night that's this friday night the 9th of august at 7 30 now let's get over here to moneymetals.com you're looking at gold up 450 to 24 490 silver up four pennies to 2721 platinum up 360 to 931 65 and palladium up 18 dollars even steven to 923 80 over here, you got an in-stock American Silver Eagle whose premium is $7.59. And look at that. That seems to be like it's going to be on sale. I'm, I'm sure you could find it cheaper elsewhere. But look at that, $34.79. All right, and they will buy those back at $28.58 each. Isn't that something? So there we go. Now here we are. We find ourselves at the bullion sales for the United States Mint. There's no new tale to tell yet for the month of August. And I could only imagine what the sales are like out there uh, in the open market. Now let's go here to today's product schedule launch. Here we go. That's the American Eagle out of San Francisco, right? And that's going to be the Celia Cruz Quarters. And I would imagine if you pick these up at the United States Mint's booth at the Chicago World's Fair of Money, you might get a Mint employee to sign them. And I would also, if you did that, I would also put their role, have them sign their role that they do there at the U.S. Mint's booth there. That's pretty incredible. Um, hopefully, you are able to get the Honorable Ventures Gibson signature on there. That would pretty uh, be pretty cool as well. And we know our uh, friend Mickey Minsky has uh, gotten those signatures on the American Women Quarters featuring, I wanted to say, um, Anna Mae Wong. I think that was it. So check this out, folks. This is really important. I think all of us could probably um, use this information. So yeah, today we have August 7th. These two products are dropping, and I'll get to those in a second. And then after that, look at this. Three weeks from this Thursday, okay, is the uncirculated coin set from 2024. Well, that's kind of important because our friend Mickey Minsky has already said that he has sold all of his in a pre-sale for those uncirculated nickels. That's right, the Denver nickels. And why is that a big deal? Well, they could be running real light and lean with that particular coin production this year. As we already have seen, they're less than $40 million each. We could see more, but will we that's the big question now let's get on to getting it now we find ourselves here the american eagle that's the san francisco strike it's going to be 95 dollars. it does release today at noon all right there it is you get the clamshell that's pretty uh, fantastic after a four-year hiatus i think uh, last year was in 2021 it was probably the type one i think that was the one it, i could be wrong about that but it was 2021 that the last time we saw clamshells and they switched over to um the boxes starting with the type two american silver eagle out of west point new york okay the denomination is a dollar uh it, whoops there goes there we go it's a proof finish it's three ninths fine silver of one troy ounce of that fine silver and it's look at this it's 1.598 inches round or 40.60 millimeters it's got the reeded edge and it does still have that missing reeded edge right there. It's got a San Francisco mint mark. No privy mark on it, though. But what's interesting is the missing reeded edge over here by the L in Liberty. And it uh, looks like they don't show it too much over here. Yeah. So they don't really want to advertise that, do they, where they put it? We'll have to find out when we get it. Now, let's keep on keeping on to the other product that gets uh, launched today. Bam, there it is. This is Celia Cruz Quarters. This is, I believe, the 14th 
possibly uh, for the whole set so far, the 14th issuance or honoree, whatever you like to say, of the American Women Quarters. I love this program. It's kind of, you know, it's fantastic in, in so many ways. And, you know, think about it's a four year program. That is such a short program considering the United States Mint will go, you know, 2018 to 2032 for the American innovation dollars. I mean, that's just remarkable how many times less that is for just this American Women Quarter programs. And, and remember what's next, right? Because we can always be thinking about that. So here we are. You can, can, you can get th uh, two. All right, a two roll set there for $40, a three roll set for $60, and you can get the 100 coin bag for $45, and another 100 coin bag from Philadelphia for $40, $45. And what's interesting about the uh, coin bags is that, well, you know, I've talked to some coin dealers, and I said, well, where do you think the best possible coins are found when it comes to uh, rolls or bags? All right, not necessarily the uncirculated sets. All right, that's all whole different uh, program over there for the uncirculated sets and well they said it is in well the best ones are found in the bags which is interesting because they don't he told me they don't have to be rolled up in a machine that spins them round and round to get them into that roll right and uh, maybe even have those uh ooh, on the enders yeah that's pretty rough sometimes to get those the ring mm, terrible terrible news when you see that now let's keep on keeping on and this product is the uncirculated coin set for 2024 and well the mintage for this 29 dollars product that's getting released uh, a few weeks from this thursday is 190,000. what's interesting about that is that the, I, I believe the demand for the denver nickel all right they're pretty expensive on ebay as it were individually um here's two coins a p and d for 749 sold on august 6th and what percentage of that is, you know, of that is going to be $29 you're looking at there. So the demand for these, and you know, these are going to be really generally nice because, uh, well, look, if it's if it says here down here at the bottom, that's fantastic. No, I think it only shows it on the subscription. You got to see this. It's kind of a testimony to the quality of these particular coins. All right, look at this. Ah, Yes. It says U.S. Mint uncirculated coins are struck on special presses using greater force than what is used for circulating coins, producing a sharp, intricately detailed image. These coins are sealed in blisters and displayed in folders. So there you have it. That's why this uncirculated set, whoops, I think I was already there. I just need to go back to it. Um, at 190000 um, will probably be in high demand this particular uh, year. And I would suspect if I go out on a limb, to say, well, is this going to sell out quickly? Is it going to sell out, you know, in a year or six months? I would say probably uh, quicker. Um, I would say probably within uh, a quarter of a year, maybe four or five months. Less than six months is my guess. Uh, this will be around. And I could easily be wrong, and I've been wrong in the past, and that's okay. But let me know what you think in the comments below. When do you think this sells out? Or do you think it doesn't sell out at all? You don't think those nickels are, are having any impact on the sales for this particular set so that was the denver this is the philadelphia um and what's interesting you know this is it uh for the uh, uncirculated and even that kennedy i mean people buy this for many reasons uh it doesn't necessarily have to be the american women quarters it could be those half dollars that you see right there right or even the native american dollar or you get one of each denomination right there's a lot of reasons to buy the uncirculated mint set now let's go over here to the plus ones all right, here we go. This is philosophy. Now, it's the road to knowledge, and knowledge is the road to freedom, right? Now, if knowledge is power, then what's secret knowledge? What do we call that? Is that a superpower? Now, let's go here to three nines, fine, 99.9. .9. Yeah, that's right. That's Jimmy Buffett, Margaritaville. And I think they have ships. They have resorts. Who knew that he would become such a big uh, entrepreneur that's remarkable now that said i want to thank you all for coming thanks for dropping by don't forget to hit that like button and if you do like what you hear and see hey sub the channel it's absolutely free and don't forget if you haven't already go ahead and go over to whatnot and download with that link right there and you get free 15 dollars to spend anywhere on whatnot stack around